Hey guys, I'm back and today I want to address a serious issue that has been affecting Blackpink members Jenny and Rosé. Recently, they have become targets of online harassment through hashtags like Jenny Challenge and Rosé Challenge. These hashtags emerged as a response to the Suga Challenge, which led to unfair attacks on the Blackpink members. It's disheartening to see how some individuals have resorted to spreading lewd comments and false accusations about Rosé, including baseless claims of drug abuse. These allegations were debunked, and YG Entertainment even announced legal action against the haters. Jenny, on the other hand, has been targeted with posts that can be considered borderline sexual harassment. Her hashtag has been replete with edited pictures aimed at slut shaming and character assassination. Many also reposted a private picture of the idol that was leaked last year after she became a victim of cloud hacking. It's important to remember that these are real people with real feelings, not just celebrities to be torn down for entertainment. How can people harass someone who is not even related to Suga's controversy in any way? Let's move on to the next hot topic between K netizens and talk about JYP Entertainment, one of the top K-pop agencies in the industry. Lately, they've been facing some criticism over the underwhelming chart performances of their artists. It seems like JYP is heavily relying on just two groups, Twice and Stray Kids, to keep them afloat. Netizens are expressing disappointment with the lackluster success of their other groups, which are being overshadowed by competitors from different agencies. It's clear that JYP can't rely solely on the success of Twice and Stray Kids forever. Fans are expecting more from the company and its artists, but so far, it seems like they're falling short. With the fierce competition in the K-pop industry, JYP needs to step up their game and give their other groups the support and promotion they deserve. Next let's talk about K-pop idols who are currently receiving major backlash for posting things related to Japan on Korean Liberation Day. First it was Stray Kids Felix who received major backlash for posting Shikanoko Challenge and then TXT's Yunjun later posted few photos that he took in Japan. Both the idols apologized for their behavior and posting things related to Japan on such a sensitive day. While on the other hand many netizens are happy because at least now there won't be any fandom fights between MOA and STAY because both of their idols did the same mistake. But international K-pop fans thinks that those hating these two K-pop idols are overreacting as K-pop companies shamelessly earns a lot of money from Japanese fans so if Koreans hate Japan so much, then first they should boycott every K-pop company. Either don't use their money and if they can't do it then they better shut their mouth. That's all for today please like and subscribe for more K-pop pop controversies and regular updates.